Hello students, welcome to my channel, English with Terry. My name is Terry. We continue in our, my special series of job interview English videos, helping you get the job of your dreams by passing job interviews. Now, today I want to talk about the verb to work and when do we use the verb to work with at, on or in. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the basic rule is that we can say to work at a company. And when I say company, when we know the specific name, like the name of the company here at Amazon, the dictionary rule says we say, you know, to work at Amazon, at PayPal, at Facebook, when you know the name of the company. And we will use to work in for the general name of the place, to work in a bank, in a restaurant, or I worked for many years in a language school, right? But now this is the dictionary rule. This is the perfect rule. But English native speakers use both interchangeably, meaning we could say to work at or in Amazon. For example, now I have heard native speakers use both. I have heard native speakers use both. For example, to work in or at a bank. This is good news for you guys because you don't need to worry so much about at or in with a place. It's a very small kind of difference and we can see like the dictionary rule just talks about like a company name and then a general name of a place. What you really need to know and really need to understand is that to work on and a place is completely incorrect. Now, wait, it's correct English, but it's not what you mean. This is usually a problem for people who, with their language, there is no difference between in and on. And for you guys, it becomes very difficult. And I think the number one mistake with in and on is this mistake to say to work on a software company or to work on a bank. And it's just, you need to be careful. We can say work at or in a software company or the place where you work, but never on. For example, here, I'm working at McDonald's at the moment. I was working at PayPal for eight years. I worked at IBM for three years. Now, in this case, we know the name of the company and the best way is to use at. Of course, in all of the cases here, I have heard native speakers using in and it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Now, to be completely clear with you, we can say to work on, but this means something different. To work on means to spend time improving and working on a project. So when you start something and you're continuing to work on a, on a project, because if you say to be on a building, can you see this image where the guy is literally on the building because if you say in a, to me or an interview that, for example, one classic mistake is people say, oh, last night I was on a bar. Well, you were not on top of the bar. You were in a bar or at a bar, but you were not on a bar. So this is why the number one mistake people make is to work on a company, to work on a restaurant, because probably in your language, you don't have the difference between in and on. But when you say to work on a company, this is what we understand that you're on the roof. Okay. The idea of a project is something you are working on, right? It's to work on is to spend time improving and working on a project like to work on this video. I was working on these videos for five days. You watching this video, you are working on your English or what are you working on right now? Like what projects do you have in your life or at work? What are you spending time on to improve and make better right now? Me, I am Irish and it's terrible, but I don't speak Irish the language very well. So at the moment now I am working on improving my Irish language skills. I bought a CD course and I'm working on my Irish language skills. Still pretty bad, but I'm working on it. So let's remember when we have a place, they ask you, where are you working or where did you work? You can say to work at or in and the place you can use the name or you can use the general name and it native speakers will use both interchangeably. 
But the big problem is you cannot say to work on Amazon because you're not working on the roof, okay? Or you're not working on a bank. You can work in a bank or you can work at a bank, but you can't really work on top of a bank. And finally, to work on means to spend time improving and working on a project. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to take your confidence from zero to hero, I have a special free training video for you guys that you can find the link here in the description. 15 essential interview phrases that will really give you confidence with your English. Just take a moment, you can find it in the description, just exclusive my email subscribers, just leave your name and your email and you can start enjoying the video immediately, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take a moment to click like if you enjoy the video, share it with a friend if you think it will help your friend and of course leave a comment for the algorithm, all right? Thank you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.